welcome to our first episode on Live Strong Women for Pilates Boot Camp. I'm so, so, so excited to get started. We're gonna tone up your arms, your abs, your butt, your legs, everything. You're gonna be so sore tomorrow. Are you ready to get started? I am. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, so you guys wanna go ahead and lie forward on your mat. Bring those hands right in front of you, tuck that chin into your chest and slowly roll down with control vertebrae by vertebrae. There we go, nice and slow. Now, I want you to tuck that belly button into your spine, really press that low back into the mat right here, and go ahead and grab your right knee. Bring the head, neck, and shoulders up into Pilates stance, meaning you're all the way lifted right here with the upper body, belly button is pressed, okay? Now go ahead and lift up that other leg. We're gonna start out with something very simple. We're gonna go into our straight leg, single leg stretch, okay? So hit that music for me, and we're gonna go to the beat, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Inhale through your nose, Exhale through the mouth, and here we go. You're going to pull, pull, switch, and pull, pull, switch. There we go. Just really simple right here, warming up that core. Good, and pull it towards that chest twice. Switch. Good. Pull, pull a few more. Three more. And two, pull, last one. And pull, pull, switch, hold right there. Now we're gonna take it up one more level. We're gonna go into your single straight leg stretch. Go ahead and grab behind that ankle, knee, or calf and lift up that leg as long as you can. If you're feeling like you're not that flexible right now, slight bend is totally okay. All right, same thing, but this time we hit the hamstrings. And you're going to pull, pull, switch. Switch, pull, pull, there we go. Beautiful, how do you feel? Oh, I love this. I feel like my abs are getting all warmed up. My hamstrings are not so tight anymore. Pull, pull. Let me hear that breath. Good. Three more. And two. And one more. And I want you to hold it right there. Inhale through your nose. On the exhale, go ahead and bring both legs into tabletop position, hands forward. Now let's go ahead and give that head a break, especially if you're just starting, your head can get really tired. But what you wanna do is really lift up, make sure the shoulders are off the mat, but your eyes are on your knees. If you're gonna look up at the ceiling, it's gonna hurt your neck. All right, hands forward, right into the 100. Here we go, we're going to inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Inhale, two, and exhale. Good, a couple more. And exhale, two, three, four. Lifting those legs up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Keep that breath, keep pumping. I want you to feel air fanning your butt right here. If you're not feeling that air, you are not fanning fast enough. Press those heels together, toes in a nice V shape. Oh, how do your abs feel? I'm definitely feeling this right now. Good, eyes forward. If your head is tired though, feel free to bring it down onto the mat. Two more breaths, let's go. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. One more, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, bring those legs down to a 45. Can you hold it right there? All right, I'm only gonna give you a couple to do here because these are challenging. Let's go. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. One more, you got this? And exhale, two, three, four. Bring those knees in and that head down. Oh, my abs, they feel so good. All right, we're going to go into a double leg stretch. Lift up into that Pilates stance, hands right by your ears. I want you to reach your limbs as far as you can. Press. Hold it right there. And circle it in as if you're swimming through a bath of oil. And reach for two, bring it in for two. Really tucking your head into that navel as you reach in. Reach. Oh, my abs are dying, they feel so good. You're gonna give me three. Come on, long fingers, long toes. Two. And last one, I need you to reach and hold. Hold it right there. Give me five, four, and three, two, one. Bring it in and down. Oh, that was so good. 
I'm gonna continue to kill your abs and then we'll get into other parts of your body, okay? Give me a classic double leg lift. Both hands behind your tailbone right here. Relax your shoulders into the mat. Tuck that belly button in, tailbone into your, into your back right there. Go ahead and lower those legs as low as you can. Nice and slow and reach. Good. Now if you're a beginner, keep it bent. Don't go so low. Nice work. Let's go down all the way and exhale, lift. Make sure that low back is pressed into your mat. Very good. And lift. And down, let's go a little quicker. Here we go, up for two and down for two. Exhale, lift and lower. How about two more? Let's go up and down. Last one, bring it up. I want you to hold it right there. Let's bring those legs out and in. Whoo! Talk about killing those lower abs, right? Getting rid of that lower belly pooch. Three more, let's go. Three and two. One more, one. Bring those knees into the chest and give them a big hug. Ah, oh, good job. Rock the knees side to side. Inhale through your nose, exhale. Bring those hands long behind you into the Pilates roll up. Inhale through your nose. On the exhale, peel your back off the mat. And hands all the way towards the sky. Tuck that chin in and slowly roll down with control. As slow as you can, good. Hands long, inhale. Exhale, reach. Really lengthening that spine. Pretend there's a crown right on top of your head and you don't want to drop it once you're up here. Then round out that back slowly with control. Do you know how many crunches equals one roll up? Just give me a guess. I'll do one more and then I'll give you the answer. Keep thinking. And coming down. Okay, if you haven't already typed down in the comments below what you think it is, the answer is six. Six crunches equals one roll up. Did you know that? Because you're engaging all of your core, not just your upper abs, not just your lower abs, the whole thing. Last one and we're gonna get all the way up. Exhale, reach. Very good. Okay, now let's get into some arm work, shall we? Onto all fours for me, guys. And I want you to really lengthen that spine again. Beautiful Pilates posture, right? We're gonna go into the oil rigger. Your hands are gonna be right underneath your shoulders and we're gonna attack those triceps. So, go ahead and bring one leg up. If you're a beginner, what you wanna do is bring your chin close to the edge of your fingertips, okay? So we're gonna go down for two and lift for two. Making sure you're sucking that belly button in. Very good. Down and lift. Now, if you can't go all the way down and you're right here, that's okay. It's all a progression. Let's go down for two and lift. Try to keep that leg straight. Down for two and up. You've got it. two more. Lower and reach. One more. Come on, as low as you can. And bring it up. Switch. Very nice. How do those triceps feel? Feel good? Reach up that other leg. Eyes forward. Here we go. Bring it down for two and lift. So nice. How's that form doing? I know you look gorgeous out there. And reach. Very good. Press. Exhale, lift. And feeling those arms burning. I love it. I love being sore the next day. And I know you do too. Secretly you do, right? Keep going. Three more. And reach. And give me last two. One more. Go ahead and hold it down right here. Hold it. And reach it up. And go ahead and bring it all the way down. Very nice. Okay, arms are dead. Time to attack the booty. I want you to go into grasshopper. So knees as wide as your mat. You're going to bring those big toes together hands underneath your chin. Just rest, just rest right on there as if you're laying down, but you're not because we're gonna work out your butt right now. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna lift up the quads off of the mat, squeeze your butt cheeks together, like literally you have to squeeze them and then come down. Okay, now reach and lower, reach and lower. Oh, do you feel that? It's like you don't even have to try and you feel it. 
and down. Reach and lower, good, up and down. Now just relax that chest here. You don't wanna do this funky thing. A lot of people like to uh, go like that, no. What you're going to do is keep that upper body pasted into the mat and just lift your booty, good. Nice, squeeze your butt, oh, lift. Okay, I'm gonna kill you with the next one. I want you to hold it right here. Then we're gonna extend the legs into a leg extension to get those hamstrings. Reach, reach, good. Out, out, nice work. You're gonna give me five and four, three, two, one more. Hold it right there. Oh, feel it. And bring it in together and down. Oh, that feels so good. Let's get into your plank and work that whole core, okay? So, hands right in front of you into a sphinx. You're gonna go ahead and bring your toes underneath you. We're gonna inhale through your nose. On the exhale, lift up into a plank. Beginners, go ahead and come onto your knees. All right, if this is a little bit too difficult for you. Otherwise, push yourself to 110%. Make sure that tailbone is tucked, that belly button is sucked in. Hold it right there. Now this is a really good workout to do while you're watching TV and a commercial comes on. You're still working, but it's kind of effortless because you don't actually have to move. At the same time, you really lots of effort because you're really sucking in that core and working that whole body right here. Keep holding. Now, a few things to keep in mind. You don't wanna be sinking down low like this. You don't want your butt to stick up like that. You wanna make sure it's in an even plank. Good, hold it. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and down. Very nice. Press it back into a child's pose. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, really release that air. Press your chest into your knees. Give that low back a nice stretch. One more time, inhale. And exhale, reach those fingers forward. And now we're gonna end with a bang. We're gonna hit those obliques with your side plank dippers. So onto your elbow, make sure you line up that wrist and your knees against the edge of the mat, okay? So hands right on the hips. All I want you to do is to lift up. Create a little space right here and then come right back down. You got it? Let's lift and lower. Press and down, all the way, good. Now for those of you who wanna make this a little bit more challenging, go ahead and bring it onto your palm, right here. And lift and lower. You notice how we get more of a stretch, right here. You wanna press and up. Inhale down, exhale lift. Oh, do you feel that? Well, if you don't, you need to go a little bit lower. Good, give me five and four, three, Close. Two, one more, and one. Extend that arm, hold it, and bring it down. Okay, let's even it out on the other side because I can't have you wobbling around. Gotta be even. Line up those knees with your elbow. Right here, hands on the hips. Let's go, reach and down. Exhale, inhale, you've got it. All the way up, just slightly touch that hip. Good, give me five. And four, good, three. Now we're gonna bring it up onto your palm. We're really gonna push it here all the way up. Okay, ready? Let's slightly touch that mat. We're going down and lift, lower and lift. Really getting rid of that muffin top. I know you guys don't like your muffin top, so you kill it right now. Good, give me five more. Come on, touch that mat and then pull up. Touch and pull. Good, last two, one more, down and up. Extend that finger towards the sky or the ceiling, wherever you are, and go ahead and take everything down. Woo, good job, guys. Did you feel all of your muscles working? Because I totally did. You're gonna be so sore the next day and the day after. I want you to let me know in the comments below what you thought of the workout and which one was your favorite exercise. And if you think this background is totally rocking because I am in love with it. Make sure to subscribe to Live Strong Women so you can see our workout next week. And until then, work hard. I love you so much, bye. 
and it's giveaway time! Because of the new launch of the Pilates Boot Camp show, I want to show my love for you and give away a yoga mat and an oh gorgeous gym bag. So to win, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and let me know what's your favorite Pilates exercise. Really simple, right? All right, good luck!